What is this? Uh, I was hoping you could tell me. Uh, no. Well, I was waiting for you before I opened it. Why? Just in case. Uh, in case? Just in case there's a bear inside. You think there's a bear inside? Well, I don't not think there's a bear inside. So. Well, only one way to find out. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A one-horse open sleigh. Hey! I was kind of hoping for a bear. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And today. Hey, a spider! <laughs> ah! 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 No, sorry, it's just a ball of hair. All right. What happened? You lost your voice? Uh, go, go get some chalk. Don't worry, everyone. We're always prepared when something like this happens, right, John? Yes, you are right. Okay, yeah, you probably could have just nodded for that one. What? Yes.
Yes, you are right. Okay, maybe just nod at me for the easy ones. Okay, all right, so what are we gonna do now? John's lost his voice and I have to continue to do the show without him. Uh, maybe play a game, uh, one that's uh, like thematic, but also it fits with your specific malady. Uh, like, um, what can we do, what can we do? Oh, oh, oh you got an idea. What, what, okay, you're gonna write it down? Okay, great, great. Boy, this is gonna be good. What have you got? Looks like we're playing Christmas Carol Charades. Christmas Carol Charades. So here's how it's gonna work. John will pick the name of a Christmas Carol from this hat. Uh, then he'll have to use everything except his voice to try and get me to guess it. You guys can play at home. You ready, John? All right, here we go. All right, here it is. First one, okay, three words. First word is a, a small word, uh, and no, it's a little word, it's a little, big, little, little, little's the word, okay, little. Second word, little, little drum, drummer, drum, a little drummer boy, yeah. <laughs> That happened. Okay. Here we go. All right. Also three words. First word, sounds like. Uh, neck, neck, uh, sounds like neck. Uh, 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 rec, uh, spec, uh, uh, deck, uh, deck, deck. Three, deck the halls. Yes. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. La 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 Alright, what do we got? Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. How many? One, two, three, six. Six words. First word is. Flapping bird singing. Angel! Angel! Yes? Angel. Angel, fourth word, ear, or sounds like? Okay, <laughs> sounds like ear. Uh, oh, you hearing, you hearing, angels hear, angels something, something here. Angels, uh, we have heard on high. Gloria in excelsis John, you did a great job. I, you know, I'm glad that we figured out a way around your voice problem for the beginning of the show, but we still have a whole half of the show left to do. What? You got an idea? What is it? Oh, six words? Okay, here we go. First, first word is a small word. Uh, uh, and, uh, are, uh, it, it's, it, it. Uh, it's. Bible time. Bible story time. Bible time. Bible story time. Bible time. Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas, how are things? Uh, we're mostly fine, but uh, John has lost his voice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what are we talking about today, Kellen? Well, we're talking about a pair of very important cousins, Elizabeth and Mary. Let's start with Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth's husband, Zechariah, well, he was a priest, and they both faithfully followed God. They wanted children, but they didn't have any. And then one day... What is this? Hello, Kellen. This is Diane DeWitt with Ancient News, where we only cover the oldest possible news. Later, swatch watches, fading fad or forever fashion. But first, 
An angel sighting in Judea. We go now live to the scene. Elizabeth and Zechariah, describe for our viewers exactly what you saw. Oh, I didn't see it myself. Zechariah did, but he can't talk. Can you tell us what happened? Yes. Today, Zechariah was chosen to burn incense to God in the temple, and when he went in there, an angel appeared to him. Shocking news. What did the angel say? He said, my name is Gabriel. And he said, do not be afraid. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife will have a child. You must name him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and he will bring back many people to God. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely. Now, why can't he talk? Is he shy? No. He didn't believe the angel when he said that God would give us a child at our age. And so God said that he would not be able to speak until our son is born. Remarkable story. Back to you, Kelly. In spite of how weird all of that was, that's exactly what went down. The angel Gabriel appeared to Zechariah and told him that he would be blessed with a son, and that son would grow up to be again. Diane DeWitt here again with Ancient News. Later, a foolproof solution to your unwound cassettes. But first, another angel sighting. This time in Nazareth, we go live to the scene. Mary, tell us about your angel sighting. Well, he said that the Lord was blessing me in a very special way, which was wonderful, but so surprising. I'm no one special. I just love the Lord with all my heart. Incredible. Was there more? Oh, yes. He said that I would get pregnant soon with a son. Was this angel by any chance named Gabriel? Yes. How did you know? I'm an exceptional reporter. Please continue. Well, he told me I must call my baby Jesus and that he would be the Son of God, that the Holy Spirit would make this happen. And did he offer any evidence for his claim? Well, he told me my cousin Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though she's old. Actually, I think we've got Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you there? Mary, can you hear me? Yes, I can. You're pregnant? This is incredible. Oh, just talking to you, I felt the baby jump inside me. God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. Uh, this is amazing. I, I have to go tell Joseph. Back to you, Kellen. So, you might have guessed already, but that was Mary, Jesus' mom. Both she and her relatives were visited by the angel Gabriel, and they both ended up having very important children. I kind of thought that was gonna happen. Hello, Kellen. It's Diane DeWitt here with Ancient News. Perhaps you remember the story of Elizabeth, who everyone thought was too old to have a child. Of course I remember. You just told us about it. I just go where the news is, Kellen. And the news today is that Elizabeth and Zachariah's baby has been born. <laughs> His name is John. His name is John. <laughs> it's wonderful. As you can see, Zechariah can speak again. <laughs> I can't talk again. I can't talk again. I can't talk. His name is John. <laughs> People wanted us to name our son Zechariah as well, but we did what the angel said. John is a good name. A happy conclusion to an amazing story. It was wonderful to see you again, Mr. and Mrs. The Baptist. Zechariah and Elizabeth the Baptist. The Baptist is our last name, John yeah. Baptist. We, we got it. Up next, Chicken Crosses Road. Why? Find out after the break. Kellen? So, obviously, their last name wasn't The Baptist, but they were John the Baptist's parents. John the Baptist, who prepared the way for Jesus, was born to parents that no one would have ever expected, just like how Jesus was born to Mary, miraculously. With God, anything is possible, and that's still true today. When God is involved, miracles can happen. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Kellen. It's pretty amazing, right, John? Oh, how's your voice doing? <clears throat> 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear that works. Cool. That's a, that's a lot of honey. Today's question is, what's the most amazing thing you've ever seen? Oh, yeah. Serious answer or joke answer? Mm, serious. All right. The solar eclipse a few years back was amazing. No, joke. Okay. The container store. <laughs> the Yeah, there really is something to put everything in at the container store. It's, it's pretty, what about you? Uh, oh, <clears throat> I went to the Grand Canyon when I was a kid and was absolutely blown away by it. I mean, I know it's just a big hole in the ground, but still, it's very grand. I'm glad your voice is back. You know, I miss our back and forth. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. Yeah. <laughs>